Okay, here's an A Aeolian, a regular old A natural minor, also known as C. Okay, this one is a Dorian, which is has the parent key of of G. This next one is, um, we will do a harmonic minor. better um here's one that's very interesting to me <clears throat> let me duplicate a track and try again okay um i'm going to do something where i introduce the e flat 
as an event, okay? Um, I mean, every new note that's not, oops, 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 oops. Um, every new note that is uh, not expected is, um, you should sort of lean into it um, to give the listener a chance to shift their paradigm on what seven notes to keep track of. Or what, not necessarily seven, but you know, usually seven. So here's um, C melodic minor. Now, if you're thinking of it still from the perspective of A, which is probably natural to do since it starts on A, um, it's gonna be a Locrian natural two. Okay, what's next? I could also do, um, so, um, oh yeah. Oh, I could also do A melodic minor. I should have done that first probably, but let's try it. What else can we do? Um, all right, here's the second mode, or so A, Locrian natural two, natural six, or sometimes Dorian flat five, I guess is what you'd call it. It's actually in the key of G harmonic major. So, yeah, so all these things, um, you can think of it as, you know, the chord progression being a one, a three, a two, a one, to the three, to the, um, to the, um, two, to the four. But they're not really conventional chords. Um, so if you're uh, defining the chord progression like that, then you have to refer to the number of co the chord progression as a one, uh, a three, a two, a one, a, a three, a two, a four, a four. <clears throat> but not all the, the parent keys may not line up exactly like that, but that's at least how our ear is probably going to interpret the, the order of chords. The first one being, you know, establishing the tonal center as in it's it's pretty pretty strong um so anyway if a is the two of g harmonic major it's actually in the key of g harmonic major it's a two chord 
then it's a four chord, then it's a three chord, then it's a two chord, then it's a four chord, then it's a three chord, then it's a five chord and another five chord. I don't know if that makes sense. So what I can do, it's borrowing chords from that um, tonality. Um, but it's still going to feel like an A. So it's A, this, you know, the second mode of the G harmonic major scale. So it's in A, that. So Phrygian natural two, natural six, or Dorian flat five. Let's try that one. Um, maybe I'll just put a lot of delay on that and make it sound cool. Um, all right, there's uh, more stuff I could do. Um, let's see here. There's half whole, no, whole half diminished, you know, diminished here. So all this is to say, like, um, you could just say it's in A minor and you play all these different things. You could borrow stuff and still be in A minor, right? But it is kind of neat to like, you know, kind of finger apart these sounds to come up with your own licks in these tonalities, you know, um, because if you're just saying, oh, just play an A minor, you know, you, you might sort of hit a ceiling as to what you might think that you can do in A minor. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Um, Let's go out with some uh, diminished scale stuff. You know, take her to a movie. <laughs> uh, okay, duplicate tracks. All right, here we go. And finish with A diminished. Or B whole half, yeah, half whole. <laughs> Here we go. Now. So, uh, yeah, there's a variety of stuff you can do. You know, I could also do just regular old A minor and just borrow stuff from all of this. Let's try that. Um, I mean, A, A minor blues is one of the options, as you can see. Um, 
So maybe I'll start with that. I'll start with blues and I'll, um, I don't know, see what I can do. Mute. And record. How about that? Here we go. Okay, I hope you like it. A with just four notes. That's how to do the ABCDs.